Earlier this year, I had the real pleasure to speak to Devon author Sarah Martin about her wonderful new book, Conversations with Nell. We gave the book very reluctantly away as a prize. Well, there has been a development and Sarah has very kindly made sure that we here at BBC Radio Devon were the first to know about it. Our chat all those months ago was one that really struck with me because her idea of having conversations with Nell was such a charming one. Nell being being Sarah's gorgeous black lab. Well, I've got a very opinionated Labrador, <laughs> which people might understand. And he's very wise. And I, I don't know about you, I've always talked to my animals. And uh, uh, it sort of just came into my head to start writing it down. And I started blogging. And out of the blog, I got approached to actually uh, create a book. So uh, that's where that's come from. And, yeah. and it's just all these stories that Nell and I talk about and that we share and this kind of wonderful world which I'm so glad you enjoy too, that you can escape into, which we all need, to be honest. Oh, definitely. We all speak to our animals. We do. And you've got a pretty special (laughs) relationship, haven't you, with Nell? I have. I have. Nell keeps me grounded. I mean, I'm the sort of romantic, uh, ridiculous one and and she has to tell me, you know, how things are. She's very sensible. You have other dogs, though. Don't they get a little bit left out sometimes? No, they all get, well, Nell has to say, but they all do various things. We've got Big Dave who eats things by mistake. And then we've got little Poppy who's a, a Yorkshire Terrier Maltese Cross who's an amazing chef. She, she she creates these wonderful scones. And I've got recipes in the book, um, you know, of Poppy's recipes. Yeah. And she flies helicopters as well. And Harriet is a chocolate Labrador who's very sweet and lovely. And uh, we have old Muttley as well. Oh. I, lo- I love the the world that you've created and uh, and we get the chance to share that. But since we last spoke, Sarah, quite a bit has happened, doesn't it? It certainly has. Well, in fact, I do actually have a radio, BBC Radio Devon exclusive to tell you. Um, I released a Christmas special, which is an audio story mm-hmm. that I created because I thought it's um, such a difficult time for everyone. And I was sort of sitting here thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have an audio? that people could listen to wherever they are, whatever they're doing, and just to make it nice and Christmassy. And so I created it, but I had in my mind's eye somebody that I really would love to have for the voice of Nell. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm a massive fan of The Archers, oh, Radio very Falls, popular, The Archers. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and there was this voice, Sunny Ormond, yeah. from um, The Archers, who plays Lillian. And I thought to myself, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> We're in the middle of lockdown. We're all stuck. I knew that the archers were recording from home. So I contacted her and I said, would she consider reading Nell for me? And she agreed. And she agreed. And so she is now the voice of Nell. And we've recorded the um, Christmas special. It's 24 minutes long. It's recorded in the shed at the top of the garden. I wondered how you were going to get around this. Yes. (laughs) Sheds come in handy, don't they? Oh, they do. And and, and, um, Sunny's in Stratford and we're down here near Bantham in South Devon. And Kev pieced it all together quite marvellously. And Sonny and I um, recorded it. Yes. Fantastic. There it is. You, you there. almost, I, I guess, have, have developed a, a, quite a good relationship with her as well. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what was really amazing? I, I used to do voiceover, but I was mm. more sort of airlines and factual and that kind of thing. Yeah. But I found myself in rehearsal with Sonny Orman, which to me is amazing. <laughs> you know, if you listen to something forever, you know that character. Yeah. And there we are. And we're reading my you know, we're reading my words, which is incredible. So so my exclusive for you, Pippa, is that I am actually releasing the audio book with Sunny. And that is soon to be available. Oh, that's brilliant. And that's the first time I've told anyone about that. It's great news. Congratulations. How did it actually <laughs> feel, though, to hear Nell's human voice saying the words that you've written for the first time? was wonderful and it was so wonderful because it she said them exactly the way that I wrote them Mm. and that is such a lovely thing to have you know to actually hear it and and I just put the Christmas special out on Sunday 
for everybody because I've got um, conversations with Nell on Facebook is my is my page. So I put it out on there. It's on Instagram and I'm just uploading it to YouTube. I'm not very technically minded. <laughs> and um, it's had very good feedback. People love the voice because, mm. you know, everyone has their own idea, don't they, of what, yes. how someone will sound. Yeah. Every time you look at Nell now, are you are you hearing Sonny? <laughs> Yes, in fact, somebody said to me, they sent me a message, they said, I'm going to listen to the archers differently from now on, because now I'm going to see Nell. Lillian will just, yes, make you think of a, a, of a Labrador now. Yes, of a black Labrador. Oh. I know. Oh. No, it's it's really wonderful. It, it's so lovely. So it's been a really busy year for, for you, Sarah. Yes. There has to be a sequel now, surely. Yes, I've signed, um, just recently signed the contract for the second book which is now being put together. So, I mean, that will obviously take some time before it's out there, but that, and there will also be another audio version. We're all itching, aren't we, to hear Nell's voice now. Here's a teaser. I'm not really looking forward to Christmas this year, Nell. It's all so different. I think a lot of people are feeling that way. No family. No friends. No hugs. No, oh dear. There is always the eye bone, and you can zoom. Stop being so bar humbug. Yes, I know. I just don't seem able to snap out of it. A hot mince pie and a glass of mulled wine by the fire later will soon sort you out. I didn't think Poppy was making mince pies, as they're dangerous for dogs. Well, we all know not to touch them, even David. Anyway, she's made us quince pies. Apparently, they're good for arthritis. An awful lot of Christmas food is dangerous for dogs if you think about it. Christmas cake, chocolate logs, mild wine. The list goes on. (sighs) Right, that's enough. Put your hat and coat on. We're going down to the sea. I'm too tired. I don't care. If you insist on filling your house with animals, then you need to accept that those animals must be walked. (laughs) A little insight into the world of Sarah Martin and the wonderful Sunny Orman there. And known, of course, from The Archers. Do keep an eye on the Conversations with Nell Facebook page if you want more details of the audiobook, which is out soon. And thank you to uh, Sarah Martin for for giving us a little update. (laughs) 